Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Fancy Star Online 2 video. So today we're going to talk about the Kavaris region and my thoughts on it after beating it in one day. Yeah, the Kavaris region, it's not long. It's disappointingly short. I completed it about an hour and a half. They literally throw levels at you. From the first quest, if you're level 45, you can go from level 45 to 53. With one quest, they just throw a million experience points at you. Not complaining about that, it's just, it's a short and sweet region. It's large, and there's more to explore. I've finished the story and haven't touched on everything, but from what's gonna be happening in the next couple of months, what Sega does with updates and stuff like that, it's gonna really show what they can do with a good area as the Kafaris region. It's very beautiful, very cold, but enemies are nice and challenging. There's lots to do, lots to discover in the area. It's actually really great, but just the story is short. Now, if you haven't completed it, there's small spoilers in here, but nothing to just really diminish it. So I just cobbled some clips together just to get a nice little chunk of Kavaris out there for you guys but I'm not at all disappointed with this they did a lot of thought into it they find that something with Foey thank goodness for that with Foey brand and they added just a lot of new talents new skills and stuff like that to the game which was much needed but this is not going to be a long review I have a longer one about more Kavaris that I haven't explored because there's a lot of it I have not explored yet so there's a longer video that I want to do I'm just giving you my initial thoughts on the region so far um, haven't done the urgent quest yet because you know work and stuff like that but with all the plethora of additional side quests the Kavaris expedition items you got from the events and in last month's event we got those tickets yeah the weapon is really good evil evil clips is a really nice six star weapons to get you guys into six stars and just stuff like that there's just a lot a lot to grasp about what's coming next for Kavaris. this is literally and no pun intended the tip of the iceberg and i feel that they can take this region a lot further so if you guys haven't played the Kavaris region I jump right into it. If you haven't played since the beginning of PSO2, I have a video for you just explaining why you should jump back into PSO2. It's going to be a really good video and it will give a lot of insights to people who haven't touched the game since maybe they've been level 20 because that was the old, old, old level cap. We're at 60 now. So if you haven't touched the game since level 20, when you got bored of doing the same things over and over, I know it was boring. It, it was bad. But if you got sick of that, I'm happy to report you're going to have to wait for the video. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to burst your bone like that, but you really have to wait for that video because I go in depth into why I think you should jump back into PSO2. So anyway, guys, like I said, this is going to be a short and sweet video about the region so far. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy the Kavaris region? You no. Know, however far you got into it, let me know down below. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.